I have folded and refolded this cross. It is giving me trouble. And I do believe it's because of the length of my line. I'm having a hard time keeping it my hand entirely square. I keep buckling my line. So when Patsy says I refold, uh-huh, this one's been refolded about five times now. But I do want it to look nice because it's going to go on a rack for sale at Old Settler's Day. All right, 90 degree turn. She's trying to buckle again. I never would have thought I would say that my hands were too small. They've always been so large. Before you turn, you have to hold the 90 in place. Your 90 has to be at the downside or on the table when your fold comes to you. Now that I have those last two folds in, I'm going to secure it with a rubber band because I'm hoping and praying I don't have to fold it again. Oh, thank you, Lord. All right, I'm going to put two of those right there close together. Hold that fold where it needs to be. Then I'm going to take the rest of this garment and try to fold in the folds that I have already made without pulling anything 
out. That's the key. Don't pull your original design out when you're folding in the rest of your project. Hard not to do that sometimes. It often means that you don't have a great design on the exterior part of your project. But we are going to have a nice cross there. Well, now that I finally have this secured, come back and I'll put some dye on in a little bit. Let you watch that part. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening.